Hi, I'm Kirsten Duke and welcome to Racing Passport. There's a solid international flavour in the Group 1 Cox Plate at Mooney Valley this weekend, headlined by one of Hong Kong's finest, Romantic Warrior. The three-time Group 1 winning gelding was partnered foot by James McDonald for two of these successes and he'll hope to continue with the strike rate moving into Saturday's Cox Plate following a decent effort in the Group 1 Turnbull at Flemington. Watch this gelding in the blue silks just uh, in front of midfield. Romantic Warrior shuffled back to sixth, four off the lead. A length away, Spanish Mission, and then came Right You Are, Emissary the Rails. A length, Francesco Gardi, and then came Sulcum, Duke de Cesar El Bodegon. Well back, Barclay Square, Gold Trip, and Luna Flair as they run for the money in the Turnbull. 5.50 out, Bankmore tried to saw away from them. A length and a half, West Wind Blows, Uncle Bryn. They were followed by Ozapenko presenting. Romantic Warrior brought towards the middle of the track. McDonald hasn't moved yet. 300 150 to go. Ozapenko up to West Wind Blows. Romantic Warrior. And here's Gold Trip, the Melbourne Cup winner, storming down the outside at the 200. Gold Trip runs on by. Two legs, three legs. West Wind Blows and Sulcum. But it's all Gold Trip. Gold Trip has bolted in the Turnbull. West Wind Blows second, Sulcum third, and Romantic Warrior four. They were the five-year-old gelding has adapted well to the Melbourne way of going and ran a pretty decent race considering it was his first time racing in over four months. During the week, Romantic Warrior had a hit out at the Mooney Valley track, leaving champion jockey Jay Mack pretty impressed. There's plenty of aspects coming together for this gelding to run a really nice race. One of these being that he's drawn barrier seven, statistically the most successful barrier in the Cox Plate. Drawn on Romantic Warriors inside and also joining the field from overseas is Victoria Road, who's currently trained by Aidan O'Brien, but will later join the Mar Eustace team after being purchased by Aussie Care. Last year, this Northern Hemisphere Colt won the listed criterium over the 1600 metres at Deauville, beating Blue Rose Seine, aka the French Winx, who then went on to win four Group 1 races. Watch this horse just third behind the leaders on the inside in the burgundy and navy silks. Fourth position followed by Duke de Morny, but they're in the home straight and it's still Love 2's made pretty much all the running so far. Dear my friend ranging up alongside. On the inside there is Victoria Road coming with a run. On the outer is Blue Rose Sen. That's a leading quartet. Then we've got Duke de Morny as it comes through the closing stages and it's Aidan O'Brien's Victoria Road who now hits the front but here comes Blue Rose Sen on the outside. Dear my friend is in between the pair of them and Victoria Road is rallying but on the outside of Blue Rose said Victoria Road, Blue Rose said dear my friend and back in fourth place there was Duke de Morny. The Irish Colt is easy to make a case for. This time last year he won the Grade 1 Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf at Keeneland over the 1600 metres. Most recently he placed third in the Group 2 Dullingham Park Stakes at Leopardstown to finish just behind Buckaroo who recently ran in the inaugural King Charles III Stakes on Everest Day in Sydney. I think there's plenty of reasons that you could back this horse at slightly larger odds, but if you wanted something more solid, I think Romantic Warrior is absolutely going to be the one to beat.